Alright, let's test this bad boy out. Oh my gosh. Why are there balls everywhere? What do you mean by that? Oh no. Okay, let me set the scene. It was a cold December morning in 2013 when little old Sneaky decided to join the hundreds of users on a platform called Roblox. Yeah, it's kind of an underground game. I don't know if y'all have heard of it or not, but... Anyways, she would play countless hours of mindless games from tycoons, obbies, and even a little bit of role-playing. Through all her hours of gameplay, she knew that someday she wanted to have a game of her own. And oh boy did she try. But at last, her brain was too smooth and she would give up every project she started. Until now. I bet you're wondering who this sneaky person is, and uh, yeah, that's me. I was just trying to make it ominous. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be making a playable game all in 24 hours with little to no experience. And this video is gonna show you exactly how I did that. Let's find a good spot to draw this out. Okay, so my plan for the game is gonna be... Let's say this is the lobby. You spawn in like a square lobby. And... Oh, there's a little pathway and there's a hole cut out in the ground. You jump down into that hole and, and fall while trying to dodge objects that kill you. When you get to the bottom, you're teleported to a new area of the map, which then again, you jump into another hole and fall down and try to dodge things. So yeah, this is an original. Dropper games have been around for a while now. But it's something I think I can manage to do, and should be fairly easy to figure out the scripts. Just the teleporting and the respawn points. So the first thing I want to get done in these 24 hours is to have a start menu GUI. Just something that- it doesn't have to look great, I'm not gonna go to any outside resources to do it. I'm gonna use the studio, what they have in there. The second thing is I want a decent looking lobby and I'm going to be using everything that Roblox Studio has to offer, not free models though. I'm going to try to make everything myself, but I'm not going to be going off platform to use um, different websites to make models. Number three, I want to get down the basic mechanics of the game, which are the respawn points, the leaderboards, and the name of the game. So let's get into that. So when I first loaded into studio, I resized my base plate to make it more manageable and changed the base plate to a nice green color. The base plate had a weird texture on it, which was like a grid and I couldn't figure out how to remove it. So I just put a part over it and resized it to the same size as the base plate. <laughs> After that, I put another part down and started working on what would be my border, which was going to be just some generic mountains. I didn't really know what direction I was going to take this in, but I kind of wanted the lobby to be a, a foresty theme. After I finished making the first mountain, I just copy and paste it around the map and I just would change the size and direction of it each time. To finish up the lobby, I made a little waterfall with a pond, I made the hold where you would fall to each level with a pathway, and I made some trees to place around the map. So far, it was looking pretty good. So I decided to start working on the actual dropper part, so I just took a part and extended it out, copied it over, and moved it all the way down.
after I get the walls retextured, I start making some of the obstacles you're gonna have to dodge. Which this level is gonna be kind of, I don't know, worm, root, tree trunk, branch, grass esque, and whatever this thing is. Now that I had finally completed the first level, I had to try it out. And the first time did not go as planned. <laughs> so I gave it one more go. And I succeeded. On to the next level. So the next level I'm making is going to be a beach theme. I'm going to be using the same models as I did in level 1. I'm just going to recolor them and see how it goes from there. I completed level 2 and I went to go test it out. Yep, it works. So after I finished level 2, I ended up making 3 more levels, but the build process is exactly the same. So I'm just going to show y'all some pictures. I made a prehistoric level, a snow level, and a candy level. So the first script I added to the game was a teleport script, so whenever you got to the end of the dropper, you would be automatically teleported to the next stage. I followed a tutorial by Black Hole Labs. All the videos I used will be linked in the description below. The next thing I scripted was the kill brick, so whenever you landed on one of the obstacles, your character would die instantly. After I finished the kill brick, I got started on a simple GUI for the start menu. Now was the time we had to come up with a name for the game, and I thought Freefall would be the best fitting. I also added some checkpoints to each level. I also thought it would be a good idea if I added a TP back to spawn button, so I added that. And with that, the 24 hours was over. So I got one of my friends in a call to play test it with me. Jump. Jump. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Okay, I'm joining up. This should be public. <laughs> Join up. You like the, oh, you like, you like the GUI? <laughs> so, this is the waterfall. 
How do I TP to spawn? You click it. It's not working. Anyways. How do, how do we? Oh, we did On to the main game. <laughs> And then see you're on stage two now. I made yep, it I made it like really easy. Just because, you know, this is the starting levels. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You, if your dead body parts make it, you still make it. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> and this is the this is the candy level. Well hey, it looks really good. And then you can redo it and redo it and then go down and keep falling. <laughs> yeah. And that's all I got so far. So, with the playtest being done, my game was finished. Was I happy with it? Not entirely. I think it was a good learning experience, but I know I can do so much better with more time. So, I decided to call Freefall a finished game and move on to something more advanced. If you guys would like to see what I'm working on next, subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to join my Discord if y'all would like to give me any advice or tips and tricks. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.